Today we'll look at one of the fundamental building blocks of advertising on Facebook and that's the Facebook pixel. A Facebook pixel measures the effectiveness of your advertising and helps amplify your conversions. So today we'll look at what a Facebook pixel does, how to create one, and how to install it on your website. Let's begin. Hey Itaime, if we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Question of the day, is your Facebook pixel installed? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now before we actually create and install our Facebook pixel, first let's understand what a Facebook pixel even is. So we are here straight at the source, we are on Facebook for Business which is gonna give us a good explanation of what the Facebook Pixel is. So let's see. What is a Facebook Pixel? Pixel is a few lines of code from Facebook that you copy into the header section of your website. This code allows the Pixel to receive information about the actions taken on your site to make your Facebook ads more relevant to your audience. So as you can see, the Facebook Pixel is a few lines of code that we're going to embed in our website in order to understand our audience better and in order to track what's going on. So if we go down here, you're gonna see different components of it. So here's how it works. We install a Facebook Pixel, which is what we're gonna do today and you're gonna receive insights. You're gonna receive useful insights about visitors to your website, like where the traffic is coming from, that's super important, the devices people use, and other demographic information. So you're receiving information about the user. You're gonna analyze the behavior, so gain visibility into the actions visitors take on your website like purchases, page views, and more. So you're able to see where people are going on your website. You're able to see when people add items to their shopping cart, or if you're collecting leads, you're able to see when in the sales process or in the sales funnel or in your website, there's a, a holdup. So if you see that so many people get to that final stage right before they purchase or right before they give you their information and they're not doing it, then that gives you some insights as to what's wrong, what you need to do to address or what you need to address on your website. And you're also gonna create audiences. So for those of you that have been asking in the comments section about retargeting, this is a very big reason that you're able to retarget. So this is a strong, um, this is the technology that allows you to retarget for the most part. Now we're talking about the websites and landing pages wherever you're driving traffic to, you're creating audiences as it, as it says here, create custom audiences, look like audiences, or for you that are running special ad category ads, then it's called a special ad audience, which is a similar thing to the look like audiences. And ads that speak directly to those specific audiences. So you're crafting buckets of audiences or groups of audiences. You're segmenting your audiences so you're able to retarget them with the same message or a different message, encouraging them to go through the sales process a little bit deeper. And then you set up bidding. Use the lowest cost bid strategy to reach people who are more likely to take action you care about, like making a purchase. This bid strategy is best for spending your budget as effectively as possible. So as you can see, the Facebook pixel goes beyond just a piece of code that I continue to harp on <laughs> pretty much every video, um, encouraging you to download it, I'm sorry, encouraging you to create your Facebook pixel and install it. It's beyond a simple piece of code. This is a strong technology, it's a strong tool that you can use to make your ads smarter. And then, of course, with all the information that you're receiving, you're able to review the events, what's happening. Review conversion events to determine optimal advertising strategies. So let's scroll down just to see a little bit more of what's happening here. Capture events with Pixel. Facebook Pixel allows you to keep track of actions that happen on your websites. We already discussed this in this little banner, but as you can see, they go and elaborate on it. As a result of a Facebook ad, which is paid, or organic reach, unpaid. These are called events. 
You can place events on the pages that matter most to your business. For example, you can capture your customer's journey from viewing product pages all the way through to a purchase. So as I was mentioning, if they get to that point right before they press confirm or right before they press send and they don't do it, it gives you a strong indicator that maybe your ad copy isn't 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 on point there's something that needs to be addressed maybe there's a, a question that needs to be addressed and that there's um something there that is keeping people from pressing that confirm and giving you either their money or giving you their contact information i.e becoming a lead if you study all the steps along their journey you can measure and optimize your ads for the conversions that mean the most to your business so this right here is effectively saying what Ever becomes a purchase, that's important to you. Whenever somebody becomes a lead, that's important to you. But there's also other elements of the sales journey that may be important to you. Maybe you want to see how many people land on your landing page and then start optimizing from there to see which ones actually converge. So there's many different aspects that you can track and it all begins and starts with the Facebook pixel. So let's actually create one. One quick favor before continuing, please be sure to hit the like button so this video's reach is magnified and others benefit. Also, don't forget to check out my free Facebook Ads Essentials course. Link in description. All right, so here we are in the Events Manager and to get here, you're gonna go to the toolbar and you're gonna click on Pixels and it's gonna land right back here. If you've never created a pixel before, this is gonna be blank and there's gonna be a big green button here that says create pixel. And that's what you're going to click. And once you click there, I'll show you how to get to it from a different way. So since there's already a pixel here, I'm gonna create a Facebook pixel, another Facebook pixel. So what you see here is this is the exact same screen that you're going to be seeing. So we're gonna put We're gonna put YouTube Facebook Pixel. Now check your website for easy check your website for easy setup options. You can place your website URL there, but you don't have to. So we're actually not going to do that. I'm gonna show you how to do it manually. So we're gonna create. All right. So this is the important part. This is where we connect the website to the Facebook Pixel, or vice versa, where we connect our Facebook Pixel to the website. Now, if you have different landing pages if or sales funnels, or if you have different websites, you're gonna put this code wherever you want to track information. Now, if you have different lines of work, as an example, if you have a roofing company, or if you have um, a real estate business, if you have um, you sell insurance, use those are different items. Those are different um, categories of businesses. So I encourage you to create individual ad accounts and create individual pixels so you keep everything different. So your pixel is designed to get smarter with more and more information that you feed it. So if you're uh, feeding it information about pastries and information about the consumer that is registering to uh, become a lead for a real estate business, then you're confusing the pixel because they're not always directly correlated. So that's my that's my um, suggestion to you. If you have different lines of businesses, in create individual Facebook pixels to keep things different or keep them segmented and make your smart your pixel smarter rather than confuse it. All right, so the first option is add the code using a partner integration. So if you have a website like Squarespace, Wix, WordPress, well, actually, I'll click through so you see. Now, these are all the partners that Facebook integrates directly with. You see Joomla. Kajabi, Squarespace, WordPress, Wix, Shopify. So if you have one of these types of websites, it's super easy for you to install your Facebook pixel on these websites because there's a direct integration. You would just select your options or select the one that you have and press continue and you're gonna be creating or installing your Facebook pixel rather quickly. We're not gonna use this, um, we're not gonna use this today. We're gonna actually manually add our Facebook pixel to several websites. And if you don't want to manually do it either, you can do and you can email your instructions to a developer. So you can email the instructions to your IT person, your webmaster, anybody that handles your websites, and they'll know what to do with it. So when you click on email, you just send them, you just put their email address there, and there's a unique code that they need in order to install it. All right, so we're gonna do manually add pixel to a website 
and we see the base code. This is, as the name suggests, the base of the code that we're gonna need on our website. So this is the foundation block that will go on wherever we're trying to place a tracking mechanism and be able to retarget. So for our purposes today, we're gonna use ClickFunnels and KV Core. And I'm gonna to go to one of the sales funnels. So if you use ClickFunnels, then you know what this looks like. And a common mistake is to click on edit page, going into one of the pages and installing the tracking code. I mean, it says it right there, it's a tracking code and people install it here. Now that's a mistake. That's a mistake because you're only tracking this aspect of it, this particular page, rather than the entire sales funnel. So this in and of itself is an entire website. Think of it that way. For those of you that are new to sales funnels or landing pages, think of it as an entire website right there. So you're gonna go to the settings portion and then you're gonna input it you're gonna put that here on the head tracking code. So I have a Google Ads tracking code there. It's a different type of tracking code. So you paste the Facebook pixel code. Again, we received this code from over here. We're gonna paste it on the head tracking code and then you're gonna scroll down and I'm gonna move myself and you're gonna press save and update settings in order for it to take hold. And there you go. Now you have the Facebook pixel installed on ClickFunnels. Now let's go over to KV Core and install it there. And when you're on KV Core, you're gonna to go to Web and IDX. It's gonna take you right back to the screen that we're in. You're gonna to go to Edit Settings and you're gonna scroll down until you find the custom header. And this is where you're gonna place that code. So you're gonna copy, I'm gonna erase that one and then you save it, this particular one I'm actually using, so I'm not going to save what we just did, but you're just going to place that base code into your header. And whatever website, again, if you have a Squarespace, Squarespace website, you actually have a partner, you're a partner with Facebook, so you can do it that way, or there's a way for you to install it manually as well. As long as you're able to get to that header, uh, that header code, you're able, or that header section, you're able to in, inject the website, the Facebook pixel. And how you're gonna test the base code is by putting the URL that you installed your Facebook pixel in. So you're gonna go to that funnel as in this example, since we saved it, and you're just gonna preview it so it fires, but you're also going to take that URL, open an incognito window, and have it fire manually. So we're gonna go back and then we're gonna to go to the Facebook pixel and we're going to put that URL, send test traffic, it's gonna fire and it's gonna give a couple of seconds and this will turn into active. And there you go. So you're gonna continue. And now you have the option of, of creating a Facebook event. So. You saw what a Facebook event was over here. So measure a Facebook pixel allows you to keep track of actions that happen on your website as a result of Facebook ads, paid or organic reach, unpaid. These are called events. So you can create an event right off the bat. So we can actually do that right now. Use a Facebook's event setup. All right, and we're gonna put that URL that we just did we're going to open it in the website and this is super simple, super easy. This is that landing page that we just um, went through. We're going to set up an event, select the type of event. Whenever somebody does something meaningful here, meaning they become a lead, that's what we want to track. So we're going to call it a lead and then we're going to tag your event and it notices that there's a button right here that sends the information. So. You see, click on a highlighted button to set up your event. So we clicked on it. Save event. And you've created a lead event. So you're tracking when somebody became a lead. Now we're going to finish the setup. Finish. Was the event tool helpful? Well, yes, it was. Uh, tell us what you found helpful. I will not. Submit. Done. And now you're back and you set up your event.
Well, this is the updated tutorial on how to set up your Facebook pixel. If you found value in this video, please be sure to subscribe so we can talk again soon.